what's going on guys I just wanted to stop in and make a quick video going over um, a tweet that I saw earlier that I just want to do a little bit of some DD on so GME hedge tweeted earlier um, just about all the AMC insiders definitely a GME elitist but I mean he does make some good points uh, I also wanted to kind of just try to verify some of those points uh, so I just quickly like ran through uh, and looked at some of the insiders that uh, AMC has. I think this one is probably, he led with this one because it is the scariest one. Uh, the Steven Colinero, he was the um, involved with Blockbuster, Radio Shack, some of the largest financial failures in Washington Mutual. So when you do look him up, uh, he was the vice president chief marketing, or he is the vice president chief marketing officer of AMC. So he did serve vice president and uh, basically the same position at Radio Shack, uh, Radio Shack, and then the um, same position at the uh, retail marketing of Washington Mutual, uh, also uh, with Blockbuster. So this guy's got a pretty bad track, track record. Now, granted, um, I guess movie rental places were probably always going out of business with the advancements of, of technology. Um, just as GameStop doesn't sell games anymore, everything moved virtually. So that's kind of the same uh, reason that everyone thought GameStop was the next blockbuster is because essentially they're the same business model. Luckily, GameStop is switching their business model, and that's why it squeezed is because the bulls that were prepared for that uh, knew the company was transferring into a different business model and also I think had tons of value in real estate and tons of value in other business um, not just the resale of games and the brick and mortar, uh, quote unquote, type sales. So this guy is the scariest guy on the board uh, as far as track records go. Uh, a lot of these people are linked to Harvard. A lot of these people are linked to wrecked companies. So those things, um, I mean, make your own opinion. It is a little bit scary to me. People are inside of these companies. People create companies to make wealth, to create wealth. So it's hard to know anyone's intentions, um, but I'm just putting this out there for everybody to make their own opinion. Uh, obviously, I'm a, well, not obviously, but I am an a AMC bull. I have tons of options and tons of shares. So more so the reason of why I'm doing this. Sean Goodman, as most people know, is the CFO. Uh, he, and all these guys are selling shares. So Stephen Colinero, uh, he actually has, you can see here, uh, Stephen Colinero, insider. Transaction value 1.15 million. Total shares held zero. Percentage of company zero. So now some of these people probably do have options, but uh, I, I didn't look into that. So Sean Goodman, he is one that has been selling as well. Uh, he served or he serves as the uh, CFO for AMC, and he was the uh, chief financial officer uh, from April 2011 uh, 16 of Unify a company I don't know anything about, uh, and then some of these other uh, companies. So what GME Hedge had to say about him is uh, he began his career at mergers and acquisitions at Morgan Stanley uh, and now is the CFO of AMC, another Harvard guy. Uh, he kind of puts this negative uh, connotation on being Harvard people. I kind of get that, but also uh, when you look at the quality of people that come out of Harvard, generally they're all very, very successful, run very, very successful businesses. They're not all just out to crash and burn companies. So I'm not as worried at, with Sean Goodman's background. Um, it, it seems that you know everybody has to start their career somewhere just because you started it uh, in mergers and acquisitions with a uh, bank doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to be successful. So, I mean, this is just a resume builder to me, not something that I'm necessarily worried about. Maybe he has ties with Morgan Stanley, maybe he doesn't. Um, stuff like that is, is pretty insignificant to me. What is significant is that he's been selling. Um, you know, that kind of sucks. A lot of these guys, they all kind of sold um, whenever, I think the mid-20s, whenever they their lockup date on uh, a lot of these shares were, uh, when they knew Adam Aaron was selling, basically, and they would be protected. Uh, this guy, Anthony Setch, uh, he's the board, let's see here, Anthony Setch, Harvard board member, uh, director at AMC, lots of Harvard, which is loads of GameStop, uh, lead to. So the 
the main thing I can see about this guy is that he's in with a lot of Chinese studies. Maybe uh, he was part with the Wanda um, team. I don't really know. I haven't dug into him um, a ton. But the one thing that does concern me with him is his timing of sales. Seems like he's had a pretty good um, beat on the market. He sold pretty much at the highest point in June, uh, selling for uh, close to a million dollars in profit. Looks like he unloaded, um, what was it? I think it was here, 15,000 uh, shares for 840K in profit on June of 8th. So as you know, if you're familiar with AMC stock, this was pretty close to all time highs. Uh, and that's kind of when he got out. He is still holding some shares. Um, and that, that's how these guys make their money. Like I said, you know, they're in this business to make money. They run these companies to get rich. And they've, they've earned it in a sense. But also uh, keep in mind these people have their best interests in mind, not um, shareholders. Uh, Terry Crawford. I couldn't find much information. Uh, AMC's senior vice president and treasurer. Oversees all the treasury and risk functions. Uh, I don't know what he had to say about this. Let's see here. Terry Crawford, senior VP, uh, treasurer at AMC, formerly same role held at MetLife, which has a track record you would expect. So MetLife, uh, potentially maybe a bad company. Maybe they went bankrupt. Uh, JP Morgan stepped in to buy their... Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so Terry Crawford, I believe, was linked to... Oh, no, that's the IT guy. So I'm not sure about Terry Crawford. Uh, you can look into her on your own time. Looks like she served or he served a treasurer of Metmore Financial, a uh, wholly owned subsidiary of Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Yeah. So it looks like that was probably a, a while back, uh, maybe pre-2008. So master's degree in 91. Not anything I'm super concerned with. Doesn't have any red flags. Um, like I said, I think this guy is really the guy that's kind of got some red flags on his record. But um, it does look like this Terry Crawford, this is where I was looking at, does sit on the board of Wells Fargo, uh, the member of Retail Advisory Board. So that's, that's tricky to me. Um, Wells Fargo has been known to pretty much rip off um, a lot of their people, a lot of their client base. And we also, I mean, if you're familiar with any of the market-wide stuff, uh, Wells Fargo is uh, one of the ones that have a little bit of dirt on their name as far as uh, running the cleanest company. So Derek Leggett is the uh, information, so the head of IT, essentially. He um, has linked, has been linked to Novastar, which was a subprime lender. Um, they filed for bankruptcy, which... I mean, I don't know. He's an IT guy. Um, he's not running companies, but obviously he's pretty high up and um, can be linked to some of these failures. So not the best uh, track record for him either. But like I said, you know, this guy's into data systems and IT. It's not like he's uh, exactly running uh, the company. He's making decisions for the company that's going to go bankrupt. He's probably just taking jobs where he can get them uh, very high uh, quality jobs and obviously a very intelligent guy but hard to know uh, what kind of decisions he's making for companies besides that um, of IT and data but yeah I really just wanted to put this video out to try and kind of go over some of this information that GME Hedge dropped he kind of has a negative connotation on pretty much all of them um, not that I necessarily agree with his angle definitely a GME elitist but uh, he also does make some pretty decent points, uh, mostly with this Stephen Colinero guy. Uh, we all know Adam Marin has been pretty quiet as of late. Um, so a lot of these things are starting to form. Uh, very curious to see where it goes. But uh, that's kind of all I have for you. So thanks for watching. Bye.